Hello friends, in this video we will understand different ways of creating variables in JavaScript. Earlier we used to declare variables in JavaScript using var. Two new ways to create variables were introduced in ES2015, that is ES6, which are let and const. So now we have three ways of creating variables, that is using the keyword var, let and const. Before getting into the differences, we first need to understand some basic concepts associated with variables in JavaScript, which are declaration and initialization, scope of a variable, and hoisting. Declaration of a variable is when we create a variable in JavaScript, it creates a new identifier with the variable name and assigns it a value of undefined. For example, if we declare a variable a, and we have not assigned any value to this variable. So by default, the value of a would be undefined. And you can verify this by logging the value of a, which will give you undefined. Initialization of a variable is when we first assign a value to the variable. And similarly, reinitialization is when we update the previously assigned value of a variable. For example, when we create a variable a and not assign any value to it, it is called declaration. Then let's say we assign a value 1 to the variable a, this is now called as initialization. Furthermore, if we change the value of a, it will be called reinitialization. Now let's talk about scope of a variable. In simpler terms, scope of a variable is where in the program the variable is accessible. And we can further divide it into three types. The first one being the global scope. Any variable which is not inside any function or a block is said to be in the global scope. That means that the variable can be accessed from anywhere within the program. Next is function scope. Any variable which is declared inside a function is said to be in function scope. That is the variable can only be accessed within that function. The last one is the block scope. A blocked scope variable is accessible only inside the nearest pair of curly brackets. Now let's talk about the concept of hoisting. As we have discussed earlier that in JavaScript, when we declare a variable, it is assigned a value of undefined before it is initialized with the value. Therefore, we can access the variable before it is initialized. This concept is called hoisting of a variable in JavaScript. In simple terms, hoisting of a variable means that we can access the variable before it is initialized with a value. Now that we have a basic understanding of concepts related to variables in JavaScript, let's write down all the differences between var, let, and const basis those concepts. Talking in terms of scope, var has functional scope, whereas let and const have block scope. Talking about hoisting, hoisting is only possible with var and is not possible when we use let and const. Lastly, talking in terms of reinitialization, we can reinitialize var and let, whereas we cannot reinitialize a variable which is declared with const. Now let's try to understand these differences one by one in detail. So in terms of scope, we said that var has functional scope, whereas let and const have block scope. So let's verify this by taking an example. So firstly, let's declare a if block and within this we'll create three variables using var, let and const respectively. Let's create a variable a using var and we assign it a value 1. Next we create a variable b using let and we assign it a value 2. Finally we create a third variable c using const and we assign it a value 3. Now within this if block let's log the value of each variable. And finally outside the if block we will again log the value of each variable. Now if we execute this program inside the if block for the first console log statement will get 1, for the second console log statement will get 2, and for the third console log statement will get 3, which means that all a, b, and c are accessible within the if block. Now coming outside of the if block, when we log the value of a, we'll get the output as 1. And now if we try to log the value of b, which is declared using let, we'll get a reference error that b is not defined. And again, if we try to log the value of C, we will again get a reference error that C is not defined. This is because B and C are declared inside the if block 
and their value is only accessible inside the if block as they have block scope. Whereas the value of var is accessible outside the if block because var has functional scope. With this we have verified that latent const have block scope and they cannot be accessed outside of the block in which they are declared. Now let's take another example to verify that var has functional scope. Suppose we declare a function scope example and within this function we will again declare three variables a using var with the value 1 b using let with the value 2 and finally c using const with the value 3. Now again let's log the value of each variable within the function and now if we execute this function we'll get the output of first console log statement as 1, the second as 2 and the third as 3. Now let's try to console log the value of a outside the function and if we try to do so we again get a reference error that a is not defined. Similarly, we get the same error for B and C that their references are not defined. This is because for A, which is declared using var, it has functional scope that is, it is not accessible outside the function within which it is declared. And for B and C, they have block scope. And for the current example, they reside within the block of the function that is, they are enclosed by the opening and closing curly bracket of the function. Therefore, they are not accessible outside this function. Therefore, by considering the previous example and this one, we have verified that let and const have block scope, whereas var has functional scope. Moving forward to hoisting, we said that hoisting is possible in terms of var, whereas it is not possible in terms of let and const. Now, hoisting in terms of a variable means that we can access the variable before it is initialized in the program. So let's take an example to verify this. So firstly, we will console log the value of a, b and c. And after that, we will declare a using var with the value 1, b using let with the value 2, and c using const with the value 3. Now, if we will execute this program, for the first statement that is console log a, we'll get the output as undefined. Whereas for the second statement, console log b, we'll get a reference error that cannot access B before initialization. And we'll get a similar error for C that we cannot access C before initialization. Now from this example, we conclude that we were able to access the variable A before it was initialized as it contained the value undefined, whereas we were not able to access the variables B and C before they were initialized. Therefore, hoisting is only possible in case of var. Now lastly, in terms of reinitialization, we know that we can reinitialize var and let variables, whereas we cannot reinitialize the variables declared with const. Now let's verify this by taking an example. We will declare three variables a, b, and c using var, let, and const respectively, and we will assign them the value 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Now let's reinitialize the value of variable a to 10. And we observe that we are successfully able to reinitialize the value of variable a to 10 as we haven't received any error. Now let's try to reinitialize the value of variable b to 20. And we again see that we are successfully able to reinitialize the value of b without getting an error. But when we try to reinitialize the value of variable c, say to 30, we get a type error saying that assignment to a constant variable is not allowed. Therefore, with this example, we have verified that we can reinitialize variables created with var and let, but we cannot reinitialize variable created with const. Now, after learning all these differences, it is essential to know when to use var, let, and const. Const is used when you don't need to reinitialize a variable after its creation. And in the programming world, it is most commonly used for creating arrays and objects where you only need to manipulate the elements inside the array or add or remove keys from the object. Const is also used for creating constant value variables. For example, if you are doing some mathematical calculations, you can declare a const variable pi with value 3.14 as you are certain that this value won't change for your entire program. Now, apart from these circumstances, you use let when you have to reinitialize a variable in your program. And finally, you should totally avoid using var in your program as most use cases can be covered with let and const. 
which are the new ways of declaring variables in JavaScript. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.